friends uh, my name is Rahul Prajapati and welcome to Salesforce helping at YouTube channel so today we are talking about the custom setting and custom metadata so there are a lot of questions come out these top these two topics basically these two topics are uh, you know uh, quite uh, uh, simple but might be sometime you know you are not able to answer of uh, these uh, some basic question of answer so let's say what kind of questions they can ask so in interviewer uh, first question was interviewer asked me what is the difference between custom setting and custom metadata and uh, what type of uh, you know custom uh, settings we have and uh, they also ask me like why we why we why we should use custom setting basically why what is the basic i mean what is the basic and important differences so that's what you have to be understand that is something you know governor limit custom setting and custom metadata has as much don't don't have uh, you know governor limit so you can use uh, as much as you want in your uh, code right or like in your configuration part now the second question is how you can access the uh, custom setting in your code as you know there are uh, multiple methods we have a get all methods we have a get values method and get instance so in details you can check it but that is very important right and uh, why what are the limitations basically for the custom settings what we cannot do in custom setting that's what you also need to do and where is basically used the custom setting that's you also need to go through right and what are the advantage on the custom settings while you are using you also need to go through it apart from it now comes to the custom metadata what is the custom metadata right and what are the advantage of custom metadata how you can access the custom metadata in your uh, apex code and uh, what are the additional things you get in custom metadata which are not in custom setting so that is the also one of the questions interviewer can ask you or uh, they can also ask you like uh, how you can you know access the custom setting or custom metadata in your flows or uh, what are the you know uh, I mean they want to exactly understand have you implemented or not such kind of scenario so if you not just go through and try to implement it just create custom setting and custom metadata and try to exact I mean just dummy class you have or dummy flow you have you can try to access there what kind of you know uh, mechanism it's required so definitely you have to go through with it okay stay tuned